Okay guys, so today we're having a look at a hosting provider that doesn't need any introduction anymore and that is Kinsta. So Kinsta is one of the top managed hosting providers, well known for their performances and reliability as well. But you know us on the channel, we don't take things for granted, so we're going to give Kinsta a go and see if it's worth the hype. So let's put Kinsta through its paces and see if it truly delivers on its premises. Okay, let's dive in. Very good, so welcome to Kinsta.com. So what is it exactly that they do? Well, as you can see clearly here, they provide managed WordPress hosting. So Kinsta is an extension of your business, fast, secure, and feature-rich hosting. So now let's have a look at their pricing structure. So the starting price is 30 US dollars for one single site. And this is on an annual basis. So if you go on a monthly, that's going to cost you 35 US dollars per month. So as you can clearly see, this is not cheap at all. This is top tier hosting pricing. So what's included for 30 US dollars? So let's compare all the features. So here with your starter pack, like we said, one WordPress installation and only 25,000 visits. And on top of that, it's not even recommended for e-commerce or membership websites. For this, you'll have to move on to the business one, which is $75 per month. And with this plan, you can get up to 100,000 visits. And this is then recommended for e-commerce or membership sites. So clearly, this is quite expensive. I'll be honest with you, you know. So they must provide something else that justifies the cost. So what is it exactly? Okay, so the first thing, like we said, Kinsta is a managed WordPress hosting. So what does that mean? Well, it's very simple. They handle everything like updates, backups, caching, security, and monitoring. They do everything for you. So it's a hassle-free solution. Second, as you can see, Kinsta provide 80% faster web pages with edge caching. So again, it's a super fast hosting provider. Next, we have the APM tool. So basically zero hassle performance monitoring for WordPress. So all this is all included with every plan. So this is again uh, optimized for performances. And finally, it's super secure as well, you know. So it's a well-known fact that Kinsta is really secure and super reliable as well. And if you want to have a look, I'll leave the link in the description below. You have a few testimonials here as you can see. They improve traffic, visibility, etc., etc. So all together, Kinsta provide a very well-rounded and optimized solution. So they are top tier hosting company. So now let's put this to the test. So for this, we need a test website. So I went on the Zakra starter sites here, scrolled down the page, and I found this one here for dental practice. So I opened this in a new tab. This is what it looks like. So what I did is to fetch the actual URL, the test URL here, and I entered it into PageSpeed Insight to see the results. So this is their own server and the performances are not that good to be honest. On mobile they reach 46 and then in desktop uh, 67 only. So this is quite poor like we said you know. So let's see if we host that website on Kinsta what sort of improvement will we get? All right, so obviously Kinsta, they provide powerful managed WordPress hosting. So like we said, let's put this to the test, okay? So I'm just gonna log in, I registered with them already. Very good, so this is our dashboard. So we're gonna create a site now, obviously, you know, so all we have to do is to click on this. So we're gonna install WordPress and then continue. And then we need to give it a name. So I'm just gonna put Mr. Web test and the data center location so as you can see you have north america south america europe uh, johannesburg etc etc you can see they have data center all over the world which is absolutely great so i'm just going to select uh, north america for now okay so maybe let's say maybe las vegas okay let's go with this one and then continue and then here you need to create your credentials so i'm going to fill this out very quickly there you go so let's move on to the next step continue and as you can see now it's creating our website so we have to wait a few seconds i suppose very good so this is where all your websites will be listed obviously you know so we only have one at the moment so this is the one but if you are a web agency maybe you'll have all your clients name here uh, the, the exact same way okay so what we do now is basically access this one so i'm going to click on it and these are all the tools that you can use basically to configure your website in the back end so as you can see you have your domain backups tools redirect uh, plugins and themes etc etc okay so now what we need to do is to access the wordpress admin uh, dashboard and then start installing the theme so let's open this and then from here enter your credentials login so as you can see it's a pretty straightforward way of installing wordpress and accessing it so it's just a few clicks just a minute and that's it you know so i like that to be honest it's very fast 
inefficient. So now what I'm going to do is to install that theme here. So let me do that quickly here. So I install the theme. Excellent. So this is done now. So let's have a look at our website in the front end. Make sure everything is fine. And as you can see, this is loading quite fast, to be honest, you know. So this is very promising already. Now, this is a very long page, as you can see, loads of pictures and content. So let's put this to the test. OK, so we're going to open a new page speed inside page and we're going to enter our URL here and see what happens. OK, so control V and analyze. Very good. So the results are in. So on mobile, we're at 65 and on desktop, 94. So just as a way of reminder, let me show you what they used to be. So on mobile, we used to get 46 and on desktop, 67. So this is clearly a theme that's not optimized at all, not even on their own website. But look the difference now on desktop 67, now 94. This is almost perfect, guys, you know. And then on mobile, we had 46 and now we are at 65. So big, big improvement indeed. Very good. So now let's try something else. So I created a second instance here called Mr. Web Astra. So this is the back end. I installed the Astra theme and a demo content as well. This is what it looks like, okay? So I just would like to find out uh, how will it perform now with a team that's optimized for WordPress. So let's go back to the page speed inside. This is the address, mrwebastra.kinsta.cloud and analyze this. Very good, so the results are in. So on mobile, we get 81 and on desktop, 99. So this is nearing perfection, you know? Now, as you can see, the overall result is being let down by the SEO, which is affecting the overall results. So now if you were to improve the SEO on our website, obviously we might get a 100% score and the same on mobile, we probably near the 95 or 96 then, you know? All together, performance wise, I'm pretty happy with this. Excellent, so Kinsta are known as well for their customer support, so let's put that to the test as well, okay? So we're gonna click on the speech bubble here. So as you can see, send us a message, we typically reply in a few minutes. So what I'm gonna do, I have a stopwatch here just next to it, and we're gonna count down how long it takes, okay? So I need technical support, yes. And then I'm gonna type my question, okay? There you go. So what is it? I need assistance with WordPress hosting. Yes. Okay. I can select among all of these. So what I need is staging. I want to know how I can create a staging uh, platform. Uh, let's click on other. Very good. So now I'm going to type my message. So hi, how do I create a staging environment for my website? There you go. So I've sent this and now we can start the stopwatch and see how long it's going to take for them to get back to us. Okay. So Sean is already replying. Okay. We can see the speech bubble is moving. Very good. So another 30 seconds and Sean is getting back to us. And I presume this time he will provide us with the answer. So there you go, guys. You can see two minutes have gone past, but obviously the answer is very exhaustive here. As you can see, very comprehensive indeed. So as you can see, I, I was expecting him to, to share a link or something like this. You know, but he's actually showing me on the screen where I should click, etc., etc. So I'm just going to reply. Wow. That's great. Thanks so much. Very good. So now we can get cracking and test the staging environment. So to create a staging environment, all you have to do is to select the website you want to work on. So let's select this one, Mr. Web Astra. And then right on top here, as you can see, you have Mr. Web Astra. Click on this. And now we can create a new environment, which is basically a staging environment. Okay. So I'll click on this. From here, we're going to select a standard environment. Continue. From here, we're going to select clone an existing environment. We need to give it a name. So I'm going to put staging and select the environment you want to clone. So this is the live environment we want to clone. So continue. And they go starting environment creation. So this shouldn't take too long. All right. So this is done. This took maybe two minutes to stay all together. So right here, we're going to log into our WordPress admin dashboard. Very good. So as you can see here from the address, it says staging.kista.cloud. So this is definitely the staging account. So now we can make a few changes and then push to live and see how this will work. Okay. So this is what our website looks like, as you can see, e-learning, etc., etc. So what I'm going to do is to actually install a complete different template just to see the difference here. So I'm going to install an e-commerce with WooCommerce as well. So big changes here in the back end. So let me do that quickly. Excellent. So I've made all my changes. As you can see, we have WooCommerce installed. Let's go back to the front end and refresh. 
And as you can see, that's a totally different website. So this is a nice way to put this to the test and see if the staging website can be pushed to life and then see the results, okay? So for this, we go back to my Kinsta dashboard and we're gonna push this one to life, okay? So push environment, push to life. And I really like the way they have it. So there's no confusion whatsoever. So what do you want to push from staging to live? File, database, and everything basically. Okay. So all we have to do is to type the name here, Mr. Web Astra. And that's it. Okay. So push to live. Very good. So as you can see, they're pushing staging to live. But something I really like about Kinsta, this is well thought out, you know, is a backup is automatically being made of your live site which you can use to roll back these changes if necessary. This to me is a new feature. I've never seen that before anywhere else. And this to me is a 10 out of 10. Okay guys, so welcome back to our live website. So let me refresh. I haven't touched anything. So the staging has been pushed to live. So let's refresh our page. Excellent. So WooCommerce is installed, which is a good sign. So apparently everything has been pushed to live. And now let's go back to the home page and refresh as well. And there you have it, guys. As you can see, everything has been done properly and in just a few steps. Okay, so now let's put to the test the backup feature. So as you can see, we have a live and staging. So I'm going to click on my website. We go to backups. But before that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to sabotage the website on purpose. I'm going to delete some of the files. Okay, so as you can see at the minute, it's working fine. So let me remove some of the files and see what happens. Okay, so I've sabotaged the website. I've deleted all the root folder. So let's see what happens now. So let's refresh. Very good. So as you can see, clearly this is not working anymore. So let's go back to our Kinsta dashboard. And from here, we go to backups. And as you can see, I have two backups. So I'm going to restore the latest or so restore to live. And again, I really like how they designed this. You know, you know exactly what's going to happen. So basically, live environment is going to be replaced by the daily backup. All you have to do is to confirm and type the name Mr. Web Astra and then restore backup. Very good. So as you can see, the backup restoration is in progress. So we just have to wait a few minutes now. All right, guys. So that seems to be done now. So let's go back to our backend WordPress dashboard. As you can see, it was loading before. So let's try that again and see what happens. And boom, everything is back. So this is working absolutely fine. And in just a few clicks. So bravo. Very good. So in conclusion, I'd like to say that I'm positively surprised by Kinsta. Obviously, it's a top tier a hosting provider. So we tried literally everything here. You know, uh, it was easy to install WordPress, no problem. So that's a pro. Uh, we tried with an unoptimized theme, optimized theme. We tried a customer support speed. We tried the staging environment and backup. And all of this was satisfactory, I have to say. 10 out of 10 indeed. Now for the cons I notice there is no file browser. You can only access your files via SFTP. So this is not difficult to do, but it would have been convenient to have a file browser directly built in into your dashboard. And at this price point, you would expect this at least, you know, so this is a, a bit of a letdown, to be honest. And then the second one is that they don't offer email hosting. I don't believe this, but this is actually the case. So basically, you can have your website hosted with them at full performance, no problem. But you have to host your email somewhere else, maybe with Fastmail or Google Workspace. So again, this for me is a big, big, big letdown especially that most shared hosting providers offer that for free. So I don't understand why at this price point this is not included. But anyways, there must be a reason, I suppose. So altogether, I'd say a lot of positive and only two cons. So now it's up to you to decide whether or not this is the right option for you.